White balance is that one aspect of photography which most of the photographers usually overlook. Either people get carried away too much by the concept of uh, the white balance or they usually go to an assumption that putting it in auto white balance and the camera will take care of everything. And most of the people usually end up getting color cast in the images either because of the mixed lighting condition that they are shooting in or probably because of the way the camera handles auto white balance. Few people actually take that extra step to shoot in RAW and go and adjust the white balance while doing their uh, RAW processing. But uh, most of the cases uh, people tend to do a sort of a guesswork when they are uh, setting the white balance and that's where you end up with the sort of color cast in your images. But when it comes to people who do a lot of food photography or fashion photography or, or people who do a lot of uh, stock photography, uh, color accuracy is very important and they can't take a chance by having color cast in their images. So today in this video, we will learn how to quickly color correct your images using Photoshop using a very simple technique involving blend modes and threshold. Let's consider this very first example. A typical evening light situation out in the nature when the camera, most of the Canon ones, can get fooled and make you give a very weird cool color cast on the image. Let's go ahead and fix this. Firstly, create a new empty fill layer by clicking on the new layer option. Next, let's fill this layer with 50% gray color. You can do this by going to edit, fill and choosing 50% gray. Let's jump into the blend mode and choose difference. And that's it. We have successfully screwed up our image. Let's take some steps to fix this and get back to normalcy. Let's add a threshold adjustment layer now. Let's see if we can get back our image. Use the slider and move it to the left so that your image is completely white. At this stage, start moving the slider to the right so that you can start seeing black spots in the image. At one point when you can see a significant but considerably small black patch, stop changing the threshold value. This is a portion of the image which has mid-tone gray value. Now choose the color sampler tool from the panel in the left or click the shortcut key I on the keyboard. Click on the black region in the image using the color sampler tool. Okay, still our image is not back to what we want. So let's hide this threshold layer and the 50% gray layer and try to bring in something else. Let's see if the curves layer can save us from all this mess. There are three color picker tools in Curves which are available for our disposal. But considering that we have started with a gray layer, let's pick that itself and fix our issue. Head over to the point where we had initially set a color sampler and zoom in if required to be more accurate. Click on this point using our gray color picker from the Curves panel. Boom! There you go. Your image in front of you with all the color cast issue sorted. At this point of time, Make sure that you delete the fill layer as well as the threshold layer. Before you wind up, don't forget to remove the color picker by going ahead and selecting the tool again and clicking on the clear all button. Let's try this again on one another image. This time it's an image which is shot under artificial lighting condition and as you can see there are a lot of ugly yellow color cast on the image. Let's try to see if we can fix this image by using our technique. There you go, a very neutral image with absolutely no color cast whatsoever. So hope you learned something new today and start implementing in your future workflows. If there is something very specific that you want to learn from this channel, especially on the post processing or editing, uh, please do write in your comments below so that I can pick it up and try to do a video in future. That's it from this video. This is me Shiv signing off from this video and I'll see you again in the next one.